Now, we all know Gainer Faye from so many TV dramas, including, of course, both Coronation Street and Emmerdale. But tonight, she's teaming up with Neil Morrissey for the latest series of The Syndicate about another group of friends who win the lottery. Well, Gainer joins me now. Um, I think it's maybe a little bit more than that, but it's so lovely to see you. What a oh, clever you. idea, because <laughs> you can take this, you can take a group from just about any walk of life, can't you? I think that's it. It's, yeah. um, yeah, um, my mum Kay, she basically comes up with these ideas and, and the fact that she wanted it to be a, a different group each series is um, brilliant. <laughs> so this time it's um, five kennel, they work in the kennels and um, and they're all, you know, all got different characters and, and obviously myself and Frank from the news agents where the lottery ticket comes from. <laughs> ah, and but your mum, you know, she had to convince you to take this part, didn't she? She had to say to you, come on, you know, I think, had she written it with you in mind or did she just think you would suit it? Well, well, it was written when I was in Emmerdale, to be honest. So oh. um, it was one of those things where I kind of, I suppose she asked me if I'd, I'd played the character. Sure. And um, I obviously didn't want to slip back into that old um, boring, oh, you want to do it because your mum's written it or, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. the stuff that happens, sure. the, the nepotism <laughs> thing. But... It was one of those things where I just thought, do you know what? I haven't been in her work for 13 years and I'm available and I'm an actress and I'll work <laughs> actress and the character's there and she's a great character and she does sure. this fantastic emotional journey. So I thought, I'm going to sit there and watch someone else do it. No, I'm going to do it. So I, I did the usual, I auditioned, I did the self-tape and um, the BBC said yes. And fantastic. there I am. And with, Neil Morrissey, which is fantastic. I know, and you mentioned it's about, you know, people that work in, in kennels as well, that's the syndicate. And of course, this because your mum absolutely loves dogs and one dog in particular. <laughs> yeah, uh, that'll have to be Happy, who's number one. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was five hairdressers from oh. Hull and it turned out to be um, five kennel workers from Leeds. <laughs> because, yeah, she, she got a dog and my mum and dad absolutely just fell in love with dogs. Now they are happy as number one on their, you know, they just love him and they love all dogs. In fact, whenever they're in the park walking, dogs bound over to my mum. She's always got like her pockets filled with treats and everybody knows that Kay has treats. So um, <laughs> I once wore her coat accidentally. Well, I actually didn't wear it accidentally. I wore it. I went out for a walk and I could not believe <laughs> I think that's great. Yeah. That's really funny. And as you mentioned, great cast, including Joe Sugg, who kind of got in there. You had a bit to do with that, didn't you? Well, I went to my friend Sandra in The Waitress in the West End and um, was lucky enough to see Joe as well. I mean, the, the production was fantastic, but Joe was um, in it. And I couldn't believe it. I was going, I, you know, I was quite shocked at how how good he was and how funny he was. So um, yeah, and I came back and I said, you should see Joseph in, in The Waitress, he's fantastic. And actually at the time, and then I think uh, Kay went to see him and yeah, and then we got him in for the syndicate. So it just goes to show, you know, it, it, it can, you can get into this business any which way. You've got sure. to have the talent though. You've got to, you know, you can't just, getting on anything. It has no, to be. but it's just interesting, isn't it? There you go to see that one night. You know, what if you hadn't done that? And then it just it just all it all works out. And it's you're right. It just doesn't matter how you get there, as long as you've got the talent to do it when you're there, then that's that's terrific. Strange yeah. production though, because obviously the pandemic must have kind of stopped it at one point. Were you kind of starting and stopping or how did it all work? No, we were we were, were really right? lucky. I mean we weren't lucky. I mean we it was really hard and we had to do COVID tests and we had to, it was postponed for a while before we actually got on and did the production. Right. But, um, it, you know, we didn't actually have to start, thankfully, you know, and, and I think what was riding on it was so, so much. It was, it was difficult and it, you know, we were very, a lot of time, a lot of time we were quite anxious, you know, having the COVID tests and we had um, a COVID um, doctor always on, on tap. Um, Phil, who was just fantastic, wonderful, and we had our temperatures taken all the time. So Kay was very um, conscious that she wanted it not to be a COVID world and, and a complete escapism from what we're in, because it's horrendous what we've been through. And so this is just such, um, such a massive move away from mm. reality, you know, as in, <laughs> as in this reality that yes, we're in. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, so it was, it was tough, but we got through, and I think it brought us closer because we were all going through this 
thing together, this unique experience of filming like we've never done it before, you know, and we were all in bubbles. It was done extremely um, carefully under yeah. very strict guidelines. Oh, it has to be, it has to be. Do you call your mum Kay when you're working and then mum when you're at home? <laughs> do you? Because yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> Separate it's the two. Really... <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I'm going, am I dealing with Kay or mum today? <laughs> I don't know which one it is. Okay, oh, it's mum. Oh, oh it's... no, but on set, we've, we've always had um, a professional yeah. working relationship. You know, it's important for the, for the rest of the cast as well. Everybody yeah. knows we're related, but it has to be professional. And okay. so... And she she uh, treats me just like any other actress, and um, if not, <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, um, and and I treat her like a director, like a writer, you know, with as much respect as I would give everybody. And, and Dominic Leclerc, who's another director on the show, you know, exactly the same. Sure. So. That's the way yeah. you have to do it, otherwise it wouldn't really work, would it? You're, you're absolutely right. Can't wait to see it. It's going to be really, really good. Thank you so much for joining us. It's always a joy to see you. And um, oh, yeah, this is exactly what we need. Thank you so much. You great really to see do. you again. Thank Cheers. You, Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.